little rocket man, rocket fuel for the American economy. He is a sick puppy. That from Missouri yesterday, President Trump taking aim at the North Korean leader only hours after threatening new sanctions on Pyongyang for this latest missile launch. That video released only hours ago. Admiral Robert Nanner's retired U.S. Navy four-star admiral and a former 7th Fleet commander. And, sir, good morning to you from Jacksonville, Florida, and thank you for coming back. Good morning, Bill. Where are we headed, sir? Well, there's no doubt that I agree with Ambassador Haley. We're closer to war now than we were a year ago with North Korea. But we're still, we're, we're not ready for military action by a long stretch. We have a responsibility as a nation to exhaust every, every means of trying to negotiate, uh, work with China and others to put pressure on North Korea to uh, stop this insanity Do you, do you get the sense, though, that, that we're bumping into a wall here? Uh, it, it doesn't look good right now. Uh, uh, Kim Jong-un is not responding to the kind of pressure that he should respond to. No. Nikki Haley, you mentioned her late yesterday afternoon. Strong words of the U.N., including the following, directed toward the Chinese. We have come to the point that China must cut off the oil from North Korea. That would be a pivotal step in the world's effort to stop this international pariah. China can do this on its own, or we can take the oil situation into our own hands. What do you think of that, sir? Well, I think that's the right solution. Uh, we've got to keep the money and the uh, resources out of North Korea so that they can't continue to put it toward their military and their uh, leadership. You can bet your bottom dollar it's not going to the uh, people out in the countryside. Yeah. Why, if Beijing was willing to help, would there even be oil sales today? Why would this even be an issue now? Well, I think uh, the second-order effects of doing it uh, impact China directly, especially the Chinese who uh, border, who live along the border with North Korea. Uh, so they're concerned about that, um, and they're worried about the stability of, of, in North Korea generally. So they, they've got some real concerns here, but they can do more. They have done more in the past. The president said this on Twitter. The Chinese envoy who just returned from North Korea, he writes, seems to have had no impact on Little Rocket Man. Hard to believe his people and the military put up with living in such horrible conditions. And he concludes, Russia and China condemn the launch. Are they working against us, do you think, sir? I, I don't think they're working against us, but I don't think that they're to the point where it's uh, in their best interests to be as strong in this as we are being. Uh, and I think we need to uh, share with them some of the ramifications of a war in North Korea and how it might impact uh, Russia and especially China. You would think some of that had an impact already. The Wasong 15 was the ICBM launch the other day, right? And the North Koreans bragged about its uh, greatest ICBM. Uh, it traveled to an altitude, a height of 2,700 miles. It traveled just west of Japan for almost a distance of 600 miles. What does that tell you about their capability now, Admiral? Well, they're, they're achieving the capability that they set out to achieve uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, and under Kim Jong-un, he's accelerated that effort. He's throwing everything he's got at the uh, technology challenges. Uh, what worries me is uh, when they do one of these test firings and it goes amok and lands in Japan or uh, in the United States, uh, we, we just can't stand for that because we don't know what's in that uh, uh, warhead, whether it's telemetry or whether it's a nuclear warhead. Mm -hmm. Why do you think he went quiet for almost three months? I, I think he may have been uh, uh, under some pressure from the Chinese, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think he sat down with the uh, envoy from China and decided that uh, he wanted to go forward. Sir, thank you for your time, and we await possibly another test. Hopefully I'm wrong. Thank you, sir. Admiral Natter there out of Jacksonville. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Bill.